Today on Eagle Nation News, Casey Boston was at Winsong Ranch where a national night out block party was held. What all did this entail? Grant Johnson and Julia Bizion will be in studio with a couple of floral design students teaching how you can make your own mums if you don't want to order them. And finally, celebrity home improvement experts Chip and Joanna Gaines revealed their latest project coming to Waco. Eagle Nation News starts right now. Good afternoon, Eagle Nation. Today is Thursday, October 3rd. I'm Casey Boston. And I'm Brenna Gibbons. National Night Out block parties were held this Tuesday in neighborhoods all over Prosper. Yes, I know there was one in my neighborhood, and I know there was one in Winsong that you actually got to attend. Yes, and it was definitely a lot of fun. Take a look. Today, Tuesday, October 1st, is National Night Out, and I'm currently in Winsong Ranch, just one of the neighborhoods hosting a block party. This event is a great way for neighbors to get together and learn about crime prevention. People that attend this event can even meet with local police officers. National Night Out um, to us is it's a time you know where not only do communities can get out and they meet their neighbors, we can get out with the police officers and the fire department of the city of Prosper, town of Prosper, and uh, we've probably got two fire trucks out um, if they don't get called and probably six different patrol vehicles, and they're out running around the town doing the same thing we are. Do you like the bounce house? Yeah. What food do they have there? Popcorn. They have popcorn? Yeah. Tonight we had popcorn. Um, we went over by the dock and we sat over there, and then we also played in the bounce castle. This is our first national night out here in Prosper. At first they had the uh, police department and then they had citizens on patrol. We just moved here from McKinney, Texas, so it's been nice to meet people in our community here tonight. I know I had an amazing time along with the neighborhood residents of Winsong Ranch at the block party. The live music, bounce houses, games and crafts and especially the officers made the event such a success. Be sure to stay on the lookout in your neighborhood for more events like these. For Eagle Nation News, I'm Casey Boston, Prosper. The Amber Geiger trial has come to a close following what sources are calling the most emotional day of the trial. After the jury found Amber Geiger guilty of murder and revealed her 10-year sentence time, possibly the most important moments of the trial occurred. Jean's 18-year-old brother told Geiger that he forgives her, which is what he believes his brother would have done. Amber will now spend at least five years in prison before she can be eligible for parole. Austin Mitchell is a young Plano pastor who dedicated his life to improving others. Just three short years ago, Austin created a clothing brand called Purposeful Apparel. His goal with this brand was to encourage people to live their life with a purpose. Austin has been recognized nationally for encouraging people and impacting their lives in a positive way. He was just one of the 31 people who got chosen to participate in the Lay's Operation Smile campaign. Now with your talent talk sponsored by Corbett Orthodontics is Lauren Womack. Chip and Joanna Gaines, former stars of Fixer Upper, are opening up a hotel in Waco. It was announced just this morning that the TV stars want to take their renovating skills to the next level by building a home away from home. Now, don't get too excited because a square foot former county office building won't be ready until 2021. Now, on to something that will be dropping way sooner is a fresh Prince of Bel Air inspired clothing line. Will Smith announced on his Instagram that it was happening and even showed fans some of the merch. So if you have wanted to look as fresh as the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, you can now. Let us know on Twitter if you plan on staying at the Gaines New Hotel in Waco and if you plan on purchasing any of the items from Will Smith's new clothing line. Make sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram and check out our website, eaglenation.net, to watch previous episodes. Back to you guys at the desk. Thank you, Lauren. When we return, Floral Design will be in studio with a demonstration on how to make some of our braids that you see on mums. Stay tuned. Are you a U.S. citizen who's not a registered felon and are at least 18 years old? Then make sure to register to vote. It's important. It's how democracy works. It's part of being an adult. When you vote, you get a fancy sticker. What's that not the love? But my vote doesn't matter. Yes, it does. It matters a lot at the local and state levels. And hey, guess what? It still matters at the federal level. 537 votes decided Bush versus Gore in 2000. Your vote matters way more than you think. 
Seriously, though, it's your turn to decide your future. Don't waste it. Go to vote.org for more information about voter registration. The temperatures have been dropping recently, and we should be expecting some storms. Abigail Smith has more. Thank you, Brenna. The current temperature is 88 degrees with 52% humidity and a real field temperature of 97 degrees. The thunderstorms will be happening today and tomorrow will cause a cold front to move through. We will be seeing temperatures in the low 80s and high 70s throughout the next week. With your fast forecast, I'm Abigail Smith. Back to you guys. Thank you, Abigail. Now we send it over to Grant and Julia who are in studio with Floral Design students. Thank you, Brenna. As you all know, in Texas, homecoming is very popular, and so many people like to make their own uh, mums. So we have some of our floral design students here to teach us how to make one of the most popular braids. Yeah, so we're going to be showing you all the victory braid today, and it is the one of the most um, common braids found on mums. And you'll start with four pieces of ribbon, two of the same color, and you'll have You'll take the outermost ribbon on the left side and you'll tuck it behind the white ribbon and then line it up with the corner right there. And then you'll tuck it in between those two ribbons and bring it back to make a parallel line with, these, with this one right there. And then you'll just repeat the process with the other ribbon. So you'll take the white ribbon and tuck it in between, line it up, tuck it behind and tuck it in front of that ribbon and so you'll just repeat this and in the beginning the braids do tend to be a little funky just because they don't like to cooperate so just keep going it'll end up looking perfect in the end awesome and I see that you have one of the finished products I right do. there um, we're gonna teach you how to close it today so once you're finished like the stapler once you finish um, like braiding your whole mom or your braid, you're gonna take the stapler and you're gonna staple three staples horizontally, one right here, one right here, and then one right here, and you're trying to cover up your mechanics. So when you do the braid, the top part up here is gonna be stuffed up by the mum in the flower, and down here you'll take a trinket or something and you'll hot glue it right down here. Awesome, well that looks awesome. Now let's send it over to Michael Vandershoot with a Game Time Sports Update. Thank you, Julia. Tonight, our hockey team will be competing against Capel High School at 815. They currently hold a 1-1 record after beating Frisco 3-2 and losing to Keller 2-0. Uh, as for Capel, they are off to an astounding 2-0 start after winning against Richardson Rockwall in a high-scoring 6-3 affair and over Mansfield 4-2, making Capel the league leader with 10 points scored. Will our goalies Nicholas Alford and Anthony Falzone be able to stop this high-scoring offense? Head on out to Children's Health Star Center to support your hockey team. It should be a remarkable game, so you don't want to miss it. Moving on to the Pro Leagues, the MLB playoffs started recently, and the National League Divisional Series will be also starting tonight, with the St. Louis Cardinals matching up against the Atlanta Braves at 5.02, along with the Washington Nationals and LA Dodgers at 8.37. Tune in on television to TVS to see these games live. If you want to hear more sports like this, be sure to tune in every day for a recap from sports this week. Back to you guys at the desk. Well, that's all the time we have for you today. For Eagle Nation News, I'm Brenna Gibbons. And I'm Casey Boston. Live long and prosper.